Dude, I'm not gonna Please. Punch. No. Say it really nice. No. Say it really nice. No, I'm not gonna say it. Dude, you want to just I'm not gonna say anything. It's bright and shiny on Saturday morning. Again, I head off to LAX before the sun rises for a fun day of travel. Today's an interesting one because after the last gaff that Delta had, my company refused to fly me on Delta. They wanted me to take a more direct flight, so I am flying on Southwest. Rushing as usual. There's a big ass accident on the freeway. It caused me to be late. I'm flying Southwest out of LAX in like probably two years. Looks like I made my flight. They gave me a boarding pass. Uh, the good thing about Southwest is that they have a late check. So if you don't check in on time, they'll still take your bags, but your bags will come after, which I'll take because I need to get to where I'm going. Uh, James Filios is meeting me there. He's gonna wait for me in the airport, so I can't miss my flight. Uh, okay, stop though. Thank you. Let's see if I even get a seat that's not in the middle. Is he taking my breath? say um, Southwest was not that terrible but that was just a terrible flight I had this dude who sat next to me who was just literally farting the entire time okay I guess you gotta go you gotta go ghetto fucking people on this airline not a great experience going to my next gate in Denver trying to get to Cleveland Guys, this place right here is literally the worst coffee I've ever had. It was so gross. It was like six dollars for this latte, and it's burnt and it tastes like sand. It's so bad. So um, if you're in Denver Airport, uh, miss the food. And yes, I'm still gonna drink this coffee because it's fucking coffee. Hi there. Hi. Thank you. We're off to Cleveland, boys. Several days later. There's a lot to oh. be said for that flight. Yeah. This is my buddy James. I met him. Hey. He's a photographer too. He shoots on Sony. Uh, and we'll forgive him for that, but... <laughs> as far as I can tell, uh, the overall experience in Southwest was, uh, was fine. The motto of the day is cleanse the vibe, of course. I'm meeting up with J. Phil. We're gonna go do some fun shit, or at least try to. We only have a little bit of time, but let's, you know, let's see how it goes. This is my favorite part of uh, the Southwest uh, travel experience. You just kind of uh, play this fun game where you just hope and pray that your bag comes out on the belt. Damn, it looks like it just got beat up. Look at this fucking thing. Looks sad. Here it comes, which is great news. Here we go. And look who's on the vlog. J Phil! And he got a fucking haircut. Shit looks good, babe. All right, James. Nice to meet you. It's good to meet you, nice bro. To meet you. See you on the flip side, huh? Yeah, sounds good. And it's like 80 degrees in Cleveland, and I got a hoodie on. Thank you, bro. It doesn't seem like it's gonna last much longer, those wheels on that way. What kind of car we got today? 436. You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. Look at this shit. This is the nicest SUV that they have in Cleveland. As for a Range Rover. Oh, man. And this is what they give me. This is a clown face. Where are we going? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, baby. Let's go. Why won't you fucking go on? Fucking piece of shit. We're supposed to get a Range Rover. Fuck this car. Watch, it's not gonna work for the whole shoot, and then on the way to the airport tomorrow, <laughs> it's gonna miraculously fucking work. You, oh, great. I think it's who has the most obnoxious motorcycle with the most obnoxious radio and the fattest chick on the back. I think that's really what it is. <laughs> yes. 
exactly. My friend Dorian, uh, affectionately referred to as Krenny, he's from Cleveland, and he was the biggest crap talker about Cleveland. He moved to LA and we worked together in LA, and so I feel like if I sit here and talk a bunch of crap about Cleveland, uh, I'll have his blessing on it. First impression's not great, I'll just say that. Hey, but you know what? There's always a second chance for a first impression, as they say. No. <laughs> no, they don't say that, do they? <laughs> Dude. That was a Yui, babe. Dude, you almost crashed into that car. No, I had plenty. A hundred percent, dude. Th this close. Okay. All right. Put a little Old Spice on, baby. A little Old Spice. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let's go. You excited? Hell yeah. Here we are, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The legends such as uh, Chuck Berry, Jimi Hendrix, the Beatles, uh, Elvis Presley. Think about the woman, the girl you knew the night before. But your thoughts will soon be wandering the way they always do. cherish and value whatever you can whenever you can if i could start my life all over again i would make the exact same choices so we didn't put any money in the meter and i'm really hoping we didn't get a ticket there was like 10 other cars that didn't put money in and there was also 10 cars that did put money in crossing my fingers that like cleveland pd didn't come and write us a 200 dollar ticket or whatever the fuck it is out here we're good no ticket no ticket hell yeah what Dude, the fuck i don't get it we it's could. fucking working. Fucking infinities, man. That's why I don't fucking run infinities. I'm so, everybody, I'd like to call your attention to the location where the greatest baseball game of all time was played. Where the Cubs was victorious over the Cleveland Indians. 
that occurred right here. Welcome to a location in history. Nice. Yeah? We're coming back here to shoot. Alright. Double fisting it already? It's only 5.30, bro. Anywhere, Anywhere but yeah. like, like this area, like in the lobby and stuff, it's gonna be filmed for people, right? Uh, We're doing photo and video, and I have to do an interview. Yeah, room or maybe boardroom. Boardroom? I don't think it's booked tomorrow, but it might be. Do we just have carte blanche to just go wherever we want, kind of like, oh, we want this, and kind of like... Just, yeah, just ask us. Great. Okay. Yeah. Cheers, babe. No, no, cheers. I thought you were giving it to me. Cheers, one more time. One more time. No, no, cheers. Oh my gosh, cheers. Three, please, sir. I'm trying, I gotta get there. Let's check out the view. Oh, that's a pretty cool view. Right out the front door. We got a little corner, so let's see what the second view is. Uh, just like some boardroom or something. This place is actually pretty cool. One of my favorite things about Kimpton is that every day from five to six, they have wine hour and you get free wine. So cheers, babe. We're having a little wine chat with uh, me and Filios here. Three hours later. Look at my bro fucking knowing me and ordering uh, the big bottle of Pelly. Getting me fucking set up. Cheers, motherfuckers. Mm. Normally I want to keep the party going, but I'm in my 30s now. I'm smart enough to know what happens when shit goes sideways and you, and you can't stop. <laughs> And we gotta shoot tomorrow, so. We don't want another Alabama. But and the thing is, the thing about that is that was at the end of the shoot. We put a cap on the wine. We're gonna drink Pelly for the rest of the night. We're gonna get some bomb ass food at the Kimpton Hotel. We're gonna get a good night's sleep so we can be on set at 8 a.m. I'm stoked. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm not gonna- Please. No. Say it really nice. No. Say it really nice. No, I'm not gonna say it. Dude, he watches his shit. I'm not gonna Tony cannot be trusted when it comes to certain things, when he gives his opinion on cities or restaurants. Anyways, moot point. Or basically Moving on. anything that has to do with culture at all. So you're saying because he's English, he doesn't understand culture? Yes. Yes. 100%. Oh, oh shit. Perfect. Thank you Holy very much. shit. Can I get this yeah, you yeah, can take, take that, that babe. Please do. Hey, thank you for everything. Bro, it looks, amazing. it looks so good. Good. Do we want some sparkling water? More sparkling water? I'm gonna go with yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, why is it on you? Wait, oh, my god. Oh, my god. oh my god. Oh my god. That's good. Oh my. Dude. Uh, our waitress was nice enough to comp the ice cream sandwich. So we here's what we have. We have the creme brulee here. We have the ice cream sandwich here. And then we have the cheesecake here with some berries on it. Morning, friends. It's uh. 7.30 in the morning. We're gonna leave the hotel and go do this shoot. We have quite a bit to cover today, a couple different locations. Hopefully we can get everything done. I have beaten James to the car. James got coffee, which is why I beat him. Hey, this is the first time for everything, huh? First time for everything. I have to say that Cleveland has surprised me so far. I would guess that this place would just be a fake city. Um, you know, but actually Cleveland has a lot of personality. The architecture is really cool. It's pretty rad, I'm into it. Uh... Great coffee. Here you go. Oh, sure. right. Hell yeah, cheers. Oh. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? We're back at the hotel. We're about to carry the shoot on over here. Get some heroes, get some B-roll. It's great.
Okay, so Maxine is leaving the vlog. Uh, we got to talk all kinds of uh, aerospace and flying stuff, which was rad. It went well. It was definitely uh, different for me, but you guys made it easy. Thanks for everything. You rock. See you in the future. See you in the future. All right guys, so we wrapped the shoot at the hotel. We're now going to a couple outdoor locations, get some exterior shots, and then we will be done. Hopefully grab some coffee and go to the airport and uh, go home. I think we've been able to get enough stuff. A little weird, because we're kind of shooting at a hotel instead of a doctor's office, which is out of the norm, but it's kind of cool. Cleveland, no doubt. Oh, God, careful while I blow this red light. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we just blew a red light, just full Well, the doc was going through. Right there. Yeah, but He's you know where we're me. going. It's not like... No, 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 no. You can see the Hall of Fame. It's right there. No, no, no. Listen, I don't do all that. Hell yeah. Good shoot. It was awesome. Hell yeah. Um, I had an awesome time with you guys. I'm super psyched to see all the shots that you got. Um, you guys were wonderful. It made me feel comfortable throughout the whole day. We had some fun. Um, you know, wasn't exactly looking forward to acting all day long. Okay. We had a good time. Thanks a lot. For Appreciate sure. you guys coming out to Cleveland. Thanks a lot. Thank had you for great everything. time. Yeah, me Thanks, too. It was great. We're going to the airport. Uh, we're gonna check in and we're flying home. How crazy is that? Same day flight home. And you get to see your wife tonight. How about that? I don't get to see anybody because uh, I have nobody. Uh, but anyways. Aww. Uh, yeah, MVP of the shoot was uh, James Filios. No, why me? James Filios really held it together because of his resilience and his uh, fortitude. Uh, we were able to pull off this shoot in much less time than we had originally thought. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, you did a great job. I gotta say, this is my first Starbucks with uh, a revolving door. Hey there. Fazel. Fazel? What do you think? Is she gonna get it? No, she'll be a jerk. You gave it a good effort. <laughs> uh, so I'm not feeling bad about getting upgraded to first class in American. What did uh, you get, Fazel? Unfortunately, I did not get upgraded at all because I'm on fucking Southwest. Southwest doesn't have a first class and sit in the back of the plane most likely. <laughs> Have fun. Do you love Southwest? No, f no, dude. Never travel Southwest, ever. Why not? Because f that. You get herded on like cattle. You're treated like a, a freaking animal. You know what I mean? Like, you can't take your seat. Uh, f nah. This is somebody who understands what it's like to travel frequently and knows how shitty Southwest is. If you like Southwest, don't take this as a, you know, insult because you're allowed to. But for me, This is not how you spell it. Successful Starbucks run after a successful shoot and an unsuccessful spelling of my name. You made it to the airport. Made it. Made it, babe. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm definitely not proud of this. B10. B10, okay, great. Thank you, much appreciated. I'm uh, walking through the airport vlogging right now and every single person who I walk by seems to look at me like I'm a psychopath, which I understand. I'm from LA and I live in LA and this is a normal thing where I live, but I guess out here in Cleveland, it's something to see. Uh-oh, I think maybe he didn't get his upgrade. We're gonna have to go and sit down and we're gonna have to dump the cards on the hard drives before we get on a plane. So we need to find a place that is uh, kind of common ground between our two gates. Did they give you your upgrade? Yeah, f yeah, dude, check it out. One B, baby. Oh yeah, the other one? Right here. C1C, oh man, look at you, look at you, yeah! Oh, 
Hell yeah, dude. I'm still glad I'm not flying southwest. Uh, <laughs> that wound cuts deep, I gotta tell you right now. We're eating quickly and we're transferring footage at the airport before we catch our respective flights. How fun. Fun. Love what you do with your mask, babe. You like that? Yeah. You like that kind of like weird fucking stalker look right there? Yeah, it's great. Nice. Jay Phil's leaving the vlog. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. I enjoyed having you on the vlog. I enjoyed traveling with you. I enjoyed partying with you. I don't know when I'll see you. There'll be another time. See you then. I love having him on the vlog, man. He's such a good dude. I love traveling with him. It's always a good situation when you have somebody that you travel with that you enjoy their company. And uh, Jay Phil's is one of those dudes, so uh, much appreciated. I look forward to doing it again. You are the poison, the poison that makes me know. Well,